What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, I asked what you might want to see today. And this will probably be a little bit different of a video. I, I don't suspect uh, I will hardly ever do trailer reactions um, because, well, I'm assuming they just get struck. I'm not sure how this is even going to work, but I, I'm going to try it. Uh, um, uh, you guys let me know that the Captain Marvel trailer was out and, uh, I have to admit, I have not watched it. I figured, uh, if I'm going to do reaction, it's gotta be live. It's gotta be in the moment. Uh, I also have to admit that I really dislike Brie Larson. Uh, I think she has a habit of having the same board, like, like middle-aged mom at the grocery store look on her face. I don't suspect she'll be super exciting in the role of Captain Marvel. Um, but I, I don't know. Um, I'm willing to give uh, the, the film a shot. I'm willing to uh, separate the art from the artist from the most part. So let, let, me, uh, let me take a look at this. I'll probably try to react a little bit th through it, but I won't interrupt it too much. Uh, and then uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay, so it's a blockbuster. So war is a universe. The nineties, roughly. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. There's that look. There's that. I thought, I thought Top Ramen was on sale, but when I got to the register, it was a a different price. Can can I get one of the stock boys to give me a price check on Top Ramen? Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space. There it is again, the exact same look. The ma the many face of Brie Larson. Invasion. Big car chase. Troop. Oh, that looks really cheesy. The CGI looks kind of old, low budget. Be told I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. Oh, they made him look young. Looks like they're uh, using uh, CG on his face to make him look younger. It's something that Marvel's done before. Uh, looks pretty good. It'd be interesting if we get some more background on Nick Fury. Uh, of all of these kind of side characters, um, it'd be tough probably for Nick Fury to have his own movie, especially at the age Samuel Jackson is. Because you'd really want to see like a young Nick Fury and how he got to the way he was. But here we see uh, no eye patch. So you're not from around here. It's oh, a smile. Explain. A half smile. I keep ha There's a look. There's the, uh, are these cantaloupes in season? H have any customers returned these cantaloupes? Uh, or perhaps the man... This lady in front of me is using a check to pay for her groceries. I got to say, of the effects, I, I don't know offhand what the budget for this film was for Marvel, but it seems low. It seems like um, this could very easily be like a, a Netflix series or an Amazon series or like a show on the CW uh, to, 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 the, to that point. It looks like Iron Man 3 type effects. Um, but what you have here is basically a, a movie with what appears to be a decent but not big budget. Um, and you have a character that most people uh, don't have any idea uh, of who she is. I do think the sound track of the trailer so far is, is pretty good. Um, but... Brie Larson is aggressively mediocre. Bring these memories. I 
see flashes. I There's think that same I look. have a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. There it is again. It's the same look every single time. Brie Larson is boring. I mean, unless unless against all odds, against all odds in this random herky-jerky trailer, which appears to be all over the place, we're not really seeing a lot of continuity, but Marvel trailers... They're not always the best. They can be good. Uh, I'm sure we'll see another two or maybe uh, uh, three trailers before this this movie actually comes out. But holy crap, the exact same expression uh, the entire trailer. And a lot of people are saying that, look, this is the new Avengers. It's going to be Black Panther, which turned out to be a a 8 out of 10 movie, I thought. Wasn't great. Wasn't terrible. Uh, Captain Marvel, which looks like it's going to be a, a hard 6. If I had to call it right now, critics will give it a 95% because Ma Woman. And fans will probably give it like low 70s. Uh, but normies might actually still like it. It just depends. Oh my god. Of course. Start with the her. Not a good sign. Uh, now, Captain Marvel ha is strong lore-wise, but the question is, are they going to just make her OP because her? Uh, I believe they will. I believe she'll be basically indestructible. I also believe there will be no real stakes in this movie where she's at any real risk. I could be wrong. Uh, it, it will be interesting to see. We have no idea what threats are out there. We nah, can't do this alone. We need you. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm not what you think I am. That's the exact same look. Uh, gotta say, uh, it is about what I expected. Um, I'd have to say beginning to end, uh, the, the biggest plus of that trailer was the soundtrack. I thought it was pretty, pretty good, but that's pretty standard for Marvel. Just like the constant epic soundtrack in front of everything, but that went well. The cuts like just examining the actual cinematography of the trailer or the cuts the cuts were well timed with the music it didn't really paint any picture it didn't make me want to go see it um you know this is the same actress by the way who publicly shamed a tsa agent and said um you know uh i merely smiled at a tsa agent and he asked me for my phone number to live life as a woman is to live life on the defense. That's not the type of thing that I would expect a superhero character to say. I can suspend that. Um, if they make her super OP, that's going to be dumb. Uh, if they don't spend any time building her origin, that's going to be super dumb. Uh, if, if, uh, if, and it does look like they've woven in. They're going to use flashbacks probably to uh, weave in some of her origin story. But it looks like the majority of the film is like she's already got her powers. She's on this planet. Um, you know, Nick Fury, excited to see if we can see some of his early um, parts. But, you know, it's entirely possible that we basically saw most of his Samuel L. Jackson's lines uh, already the the trailer itself to me uh has no feeling uh it's it just kind of a, a hodgepodge of special effects that look like they belong on the cw or netflix i don't blame obviously brie larson for that uh, but what's going to be hilarious is now if you've never noticed 
that like annoyed mom at the grocery store expression that Brie Larson has in real life all the time. And apparently throughout this entire film, uh, you're not going to be able to unsee that. It's going to be in your mind every time you see her on camera. She's going to have that same mildly annoyed, mildly elitist look like uh, my kids are on the honor roll and your, your kid. I saw your kid eating dirt kind of look. You know, maybe a wry smile here and there. I, I'm not, I'm not expecting a lot out of Brie Larson in this role. I think if it holds, if anything will hold this movie back, it will be uh, the special effects budget. If it looks cheesy, that's not going to help it. And and Brie Larson is going to hold it back. It probably won't be the story. Um, I don't know who I would have cast instead of her, um, but. She sucks. I mean, she has just based on her history in acting um, and what she does in real life. Uh, I'm just, you know, you could say that I'm focusing a lot on Brie Larson, but she's also the main actress and focus on um, her uh, acting in, in the trailer. But I think this will be a f it will make plenty of money because the world is obsessed with Marvel it will, they will spend a fortune advertising it. And to be honest, the trailer uh, had a decent reaction. When I looked, when I went to download it, the, the upvotes and downvotes were overwhelmingly in, in positive. Um, I saw some negative comments. Unless Marvel's deleting them, it looks like most people are impressed with it. But, you know, Marvel makes superheroes for normies. Marvel doesn't make superhero movies for superhero fans. Uh, what they do for superhero fans is they give us Easter eggs and little callbacks and things like that. You know, they always have something hidden in Guardians of the Galaxy or little nods to the true fandom. And that's what's kept kind of the true fans going, even when we're disappointed with something like Iron Man 3, uh, you know, because you're always going to get a little nugget. But the overwhelming target audience of a movie like this is ultra normies. And especially when you're going to take Captain Marvel and Brie Larson, this will be one of the lowest grossing Marvel films, uh, lowest netting in a long time. That's my prediction. You know, come back and let me know if I was wrong in March of 2019. I look forward to hearing your comments in the comic section down below. Uh, girl power. And we'll see you a little bit later today with a new video.